my name is Miss Lisa and I'm here for the Fayette County Public Library and this is Science Isn't Scary Out and About. Today we are at the Oasis, the Community Garden, and I'm here with Miss Rhonda Friend and she's going to tell us about gardening and the science behind making a good garden. And gardening isn't scary, right? Right. So we're going to start right here. If you look, this is a pepper plant. Check this out, Miss Lisa. We've got one that's ripe right here. Nice. And we can just snap that off. That's nice. called a yellow pepper. You can pickle those. Now look, what did we grow this in? A barrel of some kind. It's an old barrel. You can grow food in anything. Did you know that? You don't need five acres. You don't need 10 acres. You need a bucket. That's you know cool. what I'm saying? Right. So you want to hold this? I so sure look, will. Here we've got tomatoes growing. They're going to be cherry tomatoes. Now, how do you tell those aren't ready? Because they're green. They're green, so they have to be red before you eat them. And this little flower, is that what where a tomato will be? It's where a tomato will be, but it also helps the plant get pollinated through nice. that little flower. All right. Now, check this out. Oh, we look have at this big beautiful, vine. look at this. We got, you see this big old watermelon under here? Nice. We got watermelon and growing. Don't step on the little one, Miss Rhonda. Oh, I almost got it. Oh, right don't there. step on your vines. And look at this. We've got spaghetti squash growing and acorn squash growing. But look, step over the vines. Step we have over to the be vines. Careful. All right. What do we have over here, Miss Rhonda? So here we've got broccoli. Do you oh, like broccoli? I do. I love broccoli. broccoli. Now you mm. can just cut it. Like, look right here. This guy is ready, Yum. and I bet we can snap him off. Look at nice. this. Nice. I'm going to have a salad that. before I'm yes. done. <laughs> and look, we've got cabbage, cabbage growing. Check this out. Nice. They form in here, so these leaves all protected. And look, it grows on the inside of its little home. And when we get, when those are ready, they'll be about this big. And wow. you just whack it off at the bottom. All right. And so we've got green beans. Now here we have two kinds of green beans. These are bush beans. They grow mm. kind of on a bush. And look at this. Look at this guy. He's wow. ready. Just hold the vine and you just snap, snap him off. Look right at that. Off. Wow. And these are stringless, so you don't even have to string them. Nice. These Yummy. are called Kentucky Wonders, my mama's favorite beans. Now, they're a thing called the Three Sisters and you would plant bean squash with your corn. And these will actually grow up and they help provide uh, nutrients to each other. But these beans love to climb. And when they're ready, they'll have beans on the inside. Okay. And, so super cool. And then here, let's see what we have. Did you know you can eat a squash blossom? No way. Yes, so early in the morning, if you pick just pinch it off. Look at this. You can eat that, Miss yeah. Rhonda? You can eat this like a fried mushroom, and what? people love them. Uh, my friend Sunny, she, she'll come down here and get these and batter them and fry them, and they're delicious. But if you pick that, then you won't have a vegetable later, right? It doesn't hurt the plant. Oh. Not all plants. You gotta, I'll show you over here. We've got where uh, in the kids' garden, we we're working on a kids' garden. And you can see that the little um, squash is growing at the end of the blossom. But okay. a lot of things you can just eat the, <laughs> eat the blossom. So here is the coolest thing. Check this out. Look at these. Do you know what these are? And they're purple. Like, did you know there's purple that grows in the garden? Oh, I love the purple flowers, Miss Rhonda. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? It's these are called eggplant. Eggplant. Oh, right. Now, eggplant, you can uh, slice and use like lasagna noodles. Really? And cook it. You can make ratatouille with it with different squashes and tomato and onion. It's so delicious. All right. We've got tomatoes coming. Now look, these are peas. Do you like peas? I love peas. Ms. I Rhonda. don't like peas from a can. That's oh. for sure. But look at these. If you look, here oh. we've got a pea. Now this pea, if you let it get mature, look what's inside. Look. Oh. We've got peas, peas on the love inside. Them. Yum. And when those get big, you can throw them in a salad or cook them. And then we have this kind of pea. Look at this guy. He's flat. Okay. And you can just eat him <gasps> raw. Right now? 
You could, popping in. Mmm, that's Is good. Is that good? Oh, it's so good. All right, so mm. let's see what else we've got. So here we've got tomatoes. Now, did you know that tomatoes are a good source of vitamin C? They go in ketchup and spaghetti and right. pizza sauce. Mm -hmm. And they're not ready yet. You can see they're still green. Mm -hmm. But they're coming along. It'll be ready before we know it. <clears throat> So what's on the other side over here, Miss Rhonda? Well, look at this. So we've got the Garden Club, and they have been Fit County Master Gardeners, and they put this bed of flowers in. Look at these beautiful flowers. Mm -hmm. And the bees will come and visit, and right. the butterflies. And this bed is in honor and memory of uh, Linda Mason, mm -hmm. who was a big 4-H volunteer. And look, back here, we have butterfly bushes. Oh, I love them. So pretty soon, we're hoping that the butterflies will go use the butterfly house. Back here, we've got musk melon planted, and you can see they're still really babies. They've not started growing everywhere. But check these out. Check this out, boys this and girls. Is what super is this? Fun. This is called a crookneck squash. Wow. We're gonna twist him off. You got to be careful. You don't want to break your vine. Look at this. He kind of looks like a duck. Yeah. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> awesome. Really cool. Now, you can eat this. Now, fill this. Yeah, it's hard. Right. So, you're going to have to cut this up and boil it first. And then you can bake it in the oven with a savory mix of spices or brown sugar and butter, cool. however you like it. And look, here's a different kind of yellow squash. Wow. We're going to twist him off, too. you got to be careful not to hurt your vine. Look at that. Nice. Isn't yeah, it beautiful? It's a lighter... Hi there, friend. Hi there. <laughs> so down at the Oasis, can people come and just pick this Yes, food? they can come and they can help us weed and water. That's and neat. And harvest the, the fruit and the vegetable that's here. Cool. Um, it's super duper awesome. Um, all the way up and over there we've got an herb garden so if mm -hmm. somebody wanted to come down if you they let you know you let me know okay. i'd show them how to harvest the herbs herbs cool what, now, what is this is this a gutter this is a gutter you're growing you things grow in a gutter in anything what? so check this out look even a weed grew here right <laughs> but look at this this is lettuce all oh, right so you want to taste it sure all right so just you pick it okay Mm. Pop it in your mouth. That's great. Mm. In a gutter. In a gutter. That's amazing. And this is just a bunch of old concrete blocks. Check this out. This is onions. Look at here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Now, you know you can eat the tops. That's the green onion. And, and if you, some onions, you can let the bulb get really big and then you can use that in cooking and stuff. Wow. So look at here, we've got... What's over here? These this, things are really finely. Yes, yeah, so they're growing up a cage, but look at this. We have cucumbers, cucumbers, and same thing, just hold the vine, twist it off, look at that, fill this. He's bumpy. He's bumpy, and look, we've got more back in there. So if somebody wanted some cucumbers, they Fantastic. could come down here and get them for free. Nice. All right. So here... This is super fun. Now, we grow food in anything, right? Yeah, this looks like a burlap bag. It is a bag. It is. So if you look, we've already been getting some potatoes. These are potatoes. Oh, potatoes, I you love potatoes. You grow them in layers. So we had some seed potato and you cut them and leave a couple eyes on each chunk. Okay. We did a, a row, covered it with soil. Okay. Then we planted, we let them grow up, right? And as they grew, we kept adding soil because if not, what happens is you can see right there. Oh, I see a little they'll red. They'll grow to the top. Yeah. So little potatoes I right there. Save these. Now look at these. So if you look, we can find. Look oh, at there. Nice little potatoes. <laughs> and those are so good. Yeah, the little red but ones. But you can let them grow as big as you like. Um, and you'll know that all the potatoes are ready to harvest when the top dies. Oh, okay. Uh, That's a good thing you to know. can always early on harvest. Look at this. Look at these. Oh, look at nice. There. Look at all those potatoes in that bag. In a bag. In a bag. Oh, my goodness. Did you know you could grow them anywhere? Anywhere. Uh, so here we have beautiful bee balm. 
Now over here, this is the children's garden that we're putting in and the library can come down and do programs. I know we're going to have bubbles here. We have a little lending library. Look how cute this is. Yeah. So, and then back here, what did we grow food in? Um, those are buckets. Buckets. <laughs> Just so, white bucket. So this is all part of the children's garden and Tractor Supply donated these buckets. And look, we have peas and then mm. we have beans. Now those beans are called asparagus beans. They're not ready yet. How do you tell? Um, I don't see any they on there. They don't even have any <laughs> blooms and there's no okay. beans on there. And we're trying to get them to grow up because they're gonna grow up. And then guess what we're gonna do? It looks like it's gonna be a little house of some kind. Asparagus beans are like this long. Really? So they'll be hanging and then kids can get in here and play. And look, they can come down and help us garden. This is their garden and okay. their space. Now we also have a raised bed. So if there are people who um, are um, impaired in their mobility oh, sure, and they right. can't reach way down and garden, look, this is way up here. We have peppers. Mm. Look at these. Do you like beets? No, I don't. You don't. <laughs> she don't. I don't. Look, and you can tell when they're oh, ready. Sure. Look. Look at those. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. Look at this. He's Neat. not. Oh, this is a radish, radish even. Look at this. <laughs> Do you like radishes? Yeah, a little bit. So look at there. Isn't That's that beautiful? Fantastic. So you would just cut the top off. And look, it's ready to eat yeah. too. And look, I found a little baby pepper. That's a little bell pepper. We have carrots, carrots growing nice. in a raised bed. Mm -hmm. You can grow food anywhere. That's awesome. So now what about pests? Don't do, I mean, Yes, yeah, so if you look, look, I was looking at this this morning and you can see that bugs are eating this. So what oh. we're gonna do, uh, we have a couple things that we try. One is diatomaceous earth which is just ground up, it's organic, it won't hurt the planet, it won't hurt humans, and we'll just sprinkle that on there later. The bugs will eat it and then mm -hmm. the bugs will go away. <laughs> yeah, good. Well, what about, I mean, like for people at home, like deer, rabbits, what do you suggest on keeping them out of a oh, garden? Oh gosh, that's the never ending question. <laughs> like a 12 foot fence will keep deer okay. out. But some people will hang like uh, reflective pie pans and stuff okay, out in there garden or they'll use scent of uh, kind of their enemy mm -hmm. and that'll help keep them away too. Um, oh right. Yes. Yeah, so this that's, has been fascinating Miss so Rhonda. So you can grow hundreds of pounds of food in a very very small space. Right. In a bucket in a barrel, in a bag. <laughs> wow. Well, Ms. L Rhonda, I have learned a lot today. What have you learned today? Wasn't this great? Come on down to the Oasis and investigate. I'm Miss Lisa, and this has been Science Isn't Scary Out and About.